Hey everyone, it's Epic Underworlds. Today I'm showing you every single card art that made it into my contest. So there is quite a few. Um, I'm not going to be showing you all of them, I'm just going to be showing you pretty much the ones that won. So yeah, there's quite a few winners because I had a ton of entries and I, it was very hard for me to choose which ones I didn't want. So I just chose a bunch of them. So starting off with Ancient Ton Guardian, um, this one's by Andrew H. And yeah, I really like the artwork. I added a little background and cleaned it up a bit. I did that for most of the artworks. I added some backgrounds if they didn't already have one. Um, but yeah, super cool. It's related to my Ton Fish card from Epic Wars TCG back in the day. So that's super cool. And I really like that concept. It's a 4, 6, 11 points. And if this creature has less than 5 health, you may discard your hand and draw two new cards. So pretty unique ability. Next, we have Krieg's Last Stand by Havelskrones. Um, this is a really cool artwork. I added a cool background to make it look a little, I guess, stand out better, but it's a really cool digital art that I, uh, really enjoyed, um, working on the background for, and I think it looks really good. So really well done to Havelskrones, and it's a comeback card. So when a comeback card is played, discard it. So it's basically a comeback card to cancel comeback cards. So very cool. Next we have Duke the Nuke. This one's made by Wrath Cores. Super impressive artwork. I had to pick this one because, yeah, uh, it's very well done. I love little turtle dude by him. I like how it's, um, he has like a little nuke strap to his back. So he's uh, definitely going to be a powerful card. It's a one attack, three life, and it's only six points. So this is a very cheap card you guys can put in your decks. Um, every time this card does one damage to a creature, you may deal four damage to another creature of your choice once per turn. So yeah, super powerful. Definitely going to be a very competitive card. Next, we got exotic pink dub dubfish. This is a spinoff of, well, dubfish, but in a, um, and I believe set two. Um, it's by Caleb Gramsimic. Grasmic, I hope I pronounced that right. It's a one attack, one life, and it's 10 points. You might be wondering why it's that expensive, but it's because when this card is killed, you may send target creature to its underworld. So it's very, uh, the reason it's so expensive is because it's got a really good ability to send annoying cards um, to your opponent's underworld. So I really like the artwork. I did a cool background on it and did some highlights. But yeah, very well done. I love the colored pencil. Next, we got Queen of the Ice. This one's by AJ Shorelock. Um, I thought we really need more lore cards. And the planet Ico in my PCG like sector of the PCG universe doesn't really have any rulers. So I thought Queen of the Ice would be perfect. So um, this is a really awesome artwork. It's a six attack, three life, 12 points. And when played, you may stun up to two of your opponent's creatures that are currently in play. So... Really well done on the artwork. I really love the hair and like it's little ice stuff coming out. So super cool and a very good card to go along with Ico. Frost Watcher. This one's by Adam Lightning. Really cool artwork. I added a like kind of a white effect on it. I think that would look really cool on it. So I did that. And yeah, I really like the aesthetic of this card. So yeah, it's a four attack, three life, seven points. And once per turn, while this card is in your underworld, you may heal one life from oh, from one of your creatures. So not the best ability, but it is only seven points. So um, it has really good stats. So definitely a good card stat wise. Next we got Gondorian Gates. This is a really awesome artwork by Tyler White. Um, he had two entries, so I put one by one as by Tyler White and one as by Kingdom CCG. So you kind of can like because he's Kingdom CCG, but his name Tyler White. So I thought that'd be cool to do like two kind of separate things for him. Um, but yeah, Gondorian Gates, really awesome artwork. Um, zero attack. Eight whole life, guys, that's amazing. That's a lot of life. And all creatures you control with the name Gondo in them gain one life as long as this card is in play. So, uh, yeah, very powerful, and it combos with Gondorian Guard, which he also made um, by Kingdom CC, which is the same guy as Tyler White. So this card gains one attack for every attachment in play. So he can combo really well with attachments, and he can combo well with Gondorian Gates. So lots of combos you can do with them. Um, other than that, he's a 2-3, which is solid stats and a common. Next, we got Kuzavalt, also by Caleb Gramsmick. Um, this is a really amazing artwork. It's kind of like Kez Kezawat, my card from set one. Um, but this one's really cool. I really love the colored pencil on it. Again, I added a cool background, and it's a 4-2, 8 points. And when this card is played, you may add plus 3 attack to one of your creatures that is currently in play. So kind of like Kezawat's ability, but this time it adds attack. So it's a really amazing artwork and just love this. Next, we got Unknown Fruit by I Can't Explain. Uh, the attached unknown creature gains plus two attack and plus two life. So it's really good support for unknown cards. And I really love the simple artwork, um, but very well done, like very impressive. He also did the Inner Archmage, which is an epic rare for the set. I just thought this artwork was absolutely amazing. I love how he took a art card that was already in the game and had added like a beast behind it. 
super amazing, and this is what the most powerful card in the game, also the most expensive. So it says, destroy all creatures without the name the art mage that are currently in play. So, um, extremely powerful, and that's why it's the most expensive card in the game. So I doubt it will be in, be able to fit in many decks, but if you can somehow squeeze it in your deck, this is a very good card. And yeah, just amazing artwork. Very well. Next we got Omination by Quack Quack. Um, this is a lot of card text um, because it's, yeah, it's got a good ability. But I just love this artwork. It's super realistic to me. I love that little ship. Um, whatever the heck that um, Omination thing is in the background. It's like a little black silhouette of a dude behind the moon or something. So super cool. I thought it was amazing. Kind of like a mood for a card. Something you would see, honestly, see in Magic the Gathering. So yeah. It's got a good ability. The attached creature gains plus two attack for every Omination card in your deck. Hand, in play, or in your discard pile. You can have up to four copies of this card in your deck. So I think it would be a really interesting card, and I think it would be uh, pretty powerful. We also have Zormax Temple by Quack Quack. Um, I really like how it's got a little Zormax dude right there. The main character of my game. <laughs> so that was super cute. And I also like the little Zormax in the cager. Um, so it's super cool. It's a very cheap card because it says all creatures with the name Zormax gain plus three attack from this card. So it's kind of a limited card. You can't do much with it, but I think people could build a whole deck around this card. So that's why I chose it, and I absolutely love this artwork. Amazing um, job with all these artworks, guys. I've been really impressed with your guys' talent. And uh, yeah, I will probably do one of these for set, maybe five or six in the future. So yeah, that was every single card, and thank you guys for watching.